Hey everyone, I'm here with Christina Galloway, a parishioner who went to the Undone Women's Conference last year in Ann Arbor. And as you know, we're hosting this here in the parish, November 10th through the 12th. And I wanted to sit down with Christina to get a little bit uh, of a testimony as to what happened during this retreat. So Christina, what was going on before you went to this retreat? So I um, have been traveling on a healing journey for several years now. Um, and I've really just been seeking the Lord. Uh -huh. So I was a little torn as to whether or not to go to the retreat in the first place, but a friend of mine had told me about it and really recommended it. So I wound up signing up and was really excited. But then literally the day before the retreat itself, I woke up as sick as could be and I had COVID. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it was terrible. So how did you go on the retreat? But then? <laughs> So then um, I wound up actually texting all of my friends, like offering to give my tickets away. And one of my friends was able to hook me up with a live stream to the conference. So then I was able to attend it uh, via the internet. So what exactly did Jesus do for you that like was so powerful? So I think for me, one of the most powerful parts of the retreat, um, and I don't even remember how it came about, was just this meditation on uh, the hemorrhaging woman from the Bible. And I just really struggled with feeling like God hadn't chosen me. Mm. I was never chosen by God. Like whenever anyone would, you know, say, you know, we're God's chosen, God has chosen us, like, it seemed as though it was supposed to be something comforting, but every single time something in me would just recoil mm. and just really hate that because I was just like, well, what if I just wasn't chosen? And so for me, um, just meditating on this woman who reached out to Jesus as he was essentially walking by, it almost seemed like Jesus had just walked by her. He didn't know her. Like this is, I'm putting myself in the story mm -hmm. and seeing him walking by and seeing like the instant she reached for him and touched him, she was healed and he knew and he then recognized, he just like saw her and loved her. And so for me, it was just in that moment that I realized that being chosen or like God choosing you doesn't have to mean like some big outward thing or doesn't have to feel like that. It can be like he's just choosing you to reach out to him in love. That really just went right to this deep part of my heart that was really broken and believing this lie that I wasn't chosen. And it just, I just felt Jesus almost come in and just begin to heal and bandage that part of me. And just to see that Jesus was meeting that part of me and was loving that part of me that I considered so unlovable, it just helped me to see even more clearly that he really has been there and loved me my whole life. He's loved me through what I always thought were the darkest moments of my life. Like, he was there and there just, there's nowhere I can go that he won't find me. So what would you say to women in our parish who might be struggling as to whether or not they should attend this retreat? Um, so I would just say to all of you women that this is one of the most amazing things you could experience. Just the ability to see other women sharing and being open and honest and authentic with each other is such a beautiful thing that we don't get to experience much in the world we live in. And this just really brings so much healing to yourself and to everyone around you, really, if you're able to meet Jesus in this beautiful place of authenticity and just see how he is there for you. Um, I just really encourage you all to go. Yeah. You can sign up uh, uh, for the retreat uh, from the John Paul II Healing Center called the Undone Conference. It's a conference for, it's a retreat for women, uh, and I'll be there the entire time uh, as well, just uh, supporting our, our beloved uh, sisters in Christ. And so you can sign up in the, with the link below, and I hope to see you there.